Hey everybody, just wanted to make another quick video. Uh, something I was thinking about. You know, they had the jobs reports come out and uh, they only created 230,000 jobs in August and they were expecting nearly 800,000 jobs in August. But that's not good. That's, that's really bad. And now all the people are getting their unemployment cut off starting on Monday, tomorrow, September 6th, the unemployment's getting cut off. So, all those people are getting, some people are getting $2,800 a month to stay home. If they included their state, in, uh, state uh, unemployment and the federal. So, now that's getting cut off and they didn't create, they only created what, one, one third of the number of jobs they wanted? Not even, a quarter, maybe a quarter of the jobs they were expecting to uh, create. So, it doesn't look good. Uh, a, a video I posted earlier about the price of peanut butter going up. Just one thing, that's just one anecdotal situation. Prices going up across the board on everything. Everything's going up. Shortages are coming in. I haven't really noticed a lot of shortages here where I live, but they're coming. Uh, I've heard from other uh, YouTube creators that the price of containers coming from Asia has gone from $3,500 a container a year ago to t up to $28,000 per container now in just over a year. That's a huge increase. And container ships are sitting outside uh, Calif uh, on the, off the coast of California in Oakland, Long Beach, uh, and they can't unload them fast enough. There's shortages everywhere. Ford Motor Company has th uh, huge numbers of trucks and Broncos, the new Broncos, sitting in parking lots waiting on chips because they can't get them. Are they going to sell those vehicles as new when the chips do come in? How's that going to work? They're going to sell a, a, a truck that was made in 2021, and they're going to sell it in 2022 or 2023 as a new vehicle when it's been sitting out in the sun in the weather for a year or so. It's going to get crazy and it's getting worse. It's not getting better. So uh, just take it for what it's worth. If you're, if you're just thinking about prepping, think real hard about it. You know, get your shit together. Start thinking about that stuff. Pick up things that you think you might need, that you use all the time, that uh, either wear out or are consumable, you know, anything. Like coffee, I heard coffee, coffee hasn't gone up for me yet, not much anyway, but I drink coffee and uh, just think about that, anything that you use, it doesn't matter, sugar, salt. Uh, you gotta have salt. Pick up some salt. You never know what's gonna happen. They could do another lockdown. Who knows what they're gonna do with the pandemic. Hell, they might take us to war. In the past when when economies are collapsing and the dollar, look what they're doing to the dollar. Printing all that money. And now China and, and Russia are talking about uh, selling oil and not using the petrodollar. What's that gonna do? If the petrodollar falls, that means the dollar collapses, the U.S. dollar. If things don't look good, and if they take us to war, and a lot of times they will take you to war, take countries to war when the economy's bad because it, then everybody's got a common enemy, and we all got to pull together, just like this stupid pandemic bullshit, you know, the boogeyman. So prep now while you can, take it for what it's worth, 
Don't listen to me if you don't want to. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just one little guy out here. Y'all take care. I'll talk to you later.